Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahman Rahim. Maliki al Medin. Yaka Nahbudu at Yaka Nastain. Ihdina Sarat al Mustakim. Sarat al Adina and Amta Alahim. Barul Makdub Alahim. Waladalim Ami. We begin in the name of God, the source of life, infinitely compassionate and infinitely merciful. And we bring our attention, our finest attention to our breath with gratitude for a chance to draw near to our Lord to enter into the heart at a time when we need peace and we need inner strength. And we need all of the resources and blessing and grace that the divine offers. Ya Kudus, Ya Latif, Ya Nur. O you who are closer to us than our very selves. O you whose remembrance we need continually. Help us to recognize our need Unless we recognize that need, we won't turn to you as we should. Ya Latif, O you who are the most subtle. Ya Kudus, O you who are most holy and pure, <clears throat> and Yanur, or you who are the light of our hearts. In silence, let's invoke these names, Ya Latif, Ya Kudus, Ya Nur.
and let us together create a circle of blessing, healing, protection, and truth. We call upon the, the infinity of divine attributes, divine names to come into our thoughts, our feelings, our bodies, every cell of the body, bringing light, blessing, healing. even to those dark corners we've forgotten about, bringing that blessing, that energy of love to every part of ourselves in order that we can know that we're loved and we can know the true dimensions of this love. And as our Holy Prophet has said, wherever hearts are gathered in the remem remembrance of Allah, the Sakina, peace will descend. And we also invite the presence and blessing of Hazrati Mevlana and Hazrati Shams into this eternal circle.
Ya Latif, Ya Kudus, Ya Nur. Oh, you who are the most subtle, subtle in giving, subtle in blessing. Oh, you, O oh, Kudus, who are the absolute purity of divine spirit with nothing added, spirit plus nothing. And Yanur, the light of the seen and the unseen of heaven and earth, the light which remembrance brings into the heart in order that the heart may see truly. Ya Latif, Ya Kudus, Ya Nur. join our voices <clears throat> in the name of presence who <clears throat> bismillah who
silently on the out breath. Welcome, dear friends. Um, yeah. Imam Ali, may he be blessed, says, contentment is inexhaustible wealth. There are many other sayings about contentment by Imam Ali and all saying essentially the same thing. And we know this, don't we? But what will it take <clears throat> that we remember it and practice it? These times we're living through where all kinds of plans have been forestalled <clears throat> or canceled, where so many of the things that we have relied on uh, for our inner strength and happiness, our relationships, our zikrs together, our presence together has now been shifted to another realm, the Zoom realm. And if, if ever time's called for remembering contentment, well, here we are. You know, we have the words of these great saints, for us especially, Mevlana and Shamsi Tabriz. And if we share some of those words, nothing will be new. And yet, can we truly hear with the ear of the heart? As Mevlana says, you need an ear in your heart to hear these words just as you need an eye of the heart to see truth. So I wanted to share some words on contentment and other related matters and all of these are from Camille's beautiful book, Rumi and His Friends. If you don't have it, really you should have it. It is one of the greatest sources 
of wisdom in our tradition. And she's done a beautiful job bringing it into accessible form. So Shem says, a special gift of the knowers of God, the Arifs, is that they never tire of remembering the friend. And they can never have enough of that friendship. The knowers of God can never tire from the remembrance of the friend, of the remembrance of the friend, and they can never get enough of that friendship. Sometimes circumstances in life bring us to the point where we make a call for help, where we uh, feel helpless, we feel our true need, but in fact, we're always in that state. Shams continues so beautifully. <laughs> and this I want you to remember, maybe we'll even repeat it. There is no food more delightful than the food of remembrance, eaten in certainty at the table of contentment. Listen with the ear of your heart. There's no food more delightful than the food of remembrance eaten in certainty at the table of contentment. I'll give you a chance to say it. I'm going to repeat phrase by phrase and then you there at home, you may want to repeat this. There's no food more delightful than the food of remembrance eaten in certainty at the table of contentment. So remembrance is our food. Evlana also says, <clears throat> your original food is the light of God. Well, we say remembrance is, brings that light into the heart. That's another way of understanding what's going on when we remember the divine. That <clears throat> intangible light that allows perception on all levels of being comes into the human being and allows us to begin to expand, to be not caught just at the level of this world, this dunya, this material plane existence, <clears throat> but to begin to live in the multi-storied palace of humanness. And eaten in certainty. Certainty is a beautiful concept in our tradition. It's yakin, yakin, which <clears throat> is the certainty of knowing that this reality is essentially spiritual, essentially purposeful, essentially beneficent. That's the certainty referred to. And if human being can grow in that certainty, it's not a close, closing certainty. It's not a closed-minded certainty. It's not a dogmatic certainty. It's an open-ended certainty that allows us to be open to everything in trust, in contentment, in gratitude. Those three sisters, trust, contentment, and gratitude. We should accompany us all the time. Eaten in certainty at the table of contentment. The word for contentment in Sufi language, in Arabic and Turkish, is kanat. In well, Arabic, it's hard to pronounce. It's got that kind of glottal sound at the end, kanat. <clears throat> in Turkish, they simplify it and they just say kanat. And so kanat is that contentment. It almost sounds, kanat sounds like contentment, doesn't it? That is not 
complacency. And it's certainly not self-satisfaction. It's defined for Sufi purposes. And Sufis like to redefine these concepts and give them a deeper meaning. Contentment in Sufi understanding is knowing that you have, knowing that you have. In other words, taking account of what is at this moment. It's a little bit like the cliche of the glass, is the glass half full or half empty? So cannot is knowing it's at least half full. And yet, knowing that we have every right to make a call to the infinite, to make a call to infinite spirit for <clears throat> the strengthening of spiritual qualities, for the increase of trust, for the awakening of forgiveness and gratitude, for the awakening of remembrance, for the awakening of true perception, So cannot contentment doesn't preclude these other beautiful, beautiful possibilities. Um, Shems has so much to say. Uh, I look at the words that we've collected and oh, just a few sentences would be enough for a morning or a day. He says, for instance, O child of Adam, wealth is in contentment with little. There is security in solitude. Uh, we need to hear that one, don't we? There is security in solitude. Freedom in the absence of desire. Friendship in lack of envy. Joy in patience. There's no glory for the greedy person, nor is there humiliation for the person who is content. The free man becomes a slave because of his immoderate desires, and the slave is freed through his contentment. Yes. As I said, this is all in the book Rumi and his friends. I know as usual, we should find some way to post some of these quotes for your, your convenience. O child of Adam, wealth is in contentment with little. There is security in solitude, freedom in the absence of desire, friendship in lack of envy, joy in patience. <clears throat> so we work with themes in order that the theme can settle into our <clears throat> heart and soul or even to our subconscious mind so that down to the very depths of the subconscious mind, that seed of contentment, that seed of humility, that seed of peace, of sakina, will be experienced <clears throat> at the deepest level of our being. But we need to work both consciously and subconsciously. We need to remind ourselves intellectually with the words and call them to mind and look at how they apply to us. Ask ourselves, how does this apply to me? To my lived experience, what do I observe objectively in myself, in my lack of contentment? for instance. And then little by little, 
deep in the heart, which is, in a sense, our subtle subconscious faculties. We can develop deep in the heart a receptivity to the divine, the divine grace and guidance. So we work on all these levels. We have language, learn the words, take the teachings of these saints, listen to them with the ear of your heart, write them down, write your own book and learn from your own book. Write your own book based on your experience, your failures, your aspirations. and quote the beloveds of God in your book and learn their, their words and treasure their words. These are what are passed on <clears throat> century after century. This is why we are in a tradition. This is why we're not just spiritual freelancers. Yes, we may include other traditions. We include wisdom and knowledge wherever we find it. But we learn to trust drinking from a fountain that we trust, whose water is pure. Contentment is inexhaustible wealth, Imam Ali the source of Sufism in the first generation or with and at the time of and subsequent to Prophet Muhammad. Mm. A beloved of ours. Camille, would you like to share this morning? We have a little offering of some pearls from Navlana. <coughs> These are some uh, small passages from the Masnavi and the Pocket Rumi around page 140. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. How will you know your real friends? Pain is as dear to them as life. A friend is like gold. Trouble is like fire. Pure gold delights in the fire. And he reminds us to keep focused on what we truly value. Saying no matter what plans you make, no matter what you acquire, the thief will enter from the unguarded side. Be occupied then with what you really value and let the thief take something else. And he goes on in a bit. The unsuspecting child first wipes the tablet and then writes the letters on it. God turns the heart into blood and desperate tears and then he, she writes the spiritual mysteries upon it.
Al Fatiha. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Al Rahman Rahim. Maliki Al Mideen. Yakana Badua Yakana Stain. Ihdina Sarat on the Stakin. Sarat Alazina and Amta Alahim. Gardo Matubi Alahim. <clears throat> as long as we're in this world, none of us is free of faults, mistakes, and sins. May we be forgiven, and may we be forgiving. Bismillah, astaghfirullah. Estafrullah 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 Estafrullah, 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 Estafrullah. Everything in existence is the manifestation of a single source of life and being. And we say, there is no God but God. La ilaha illallah. To remind us of the oneness of being. And to remind us not to make idols of our egos, whims, and desires. <coughs> La ilaha
God answers all calls made in sincerity and truth. Bismillah, ya Allah. <clears throat> Allah. <clears throat> Allah.
We give thanks for the light under which we gather, for our peer, Hazrati Medlana Jalaluddin Rumi, and for the generations of seekers and guides that have come before us, and for all those who have been our teachers. Amen. And we pray for the health and well being of everyone in this circle, our families our children, our children's children, future generations, our communities, and our world. Amen. And we mention at this time anyone in need of prayer or healing. And may Almighty God make our intention and our awareness sound and bring us in readiness to the center of true beginning. And may the light of this circle be received wherever it's needed. By the breath of Methlana, by the secret of Shamsi Tabriz, by the nobility of Imam Ali, with the blessings of Muhammad Mustafa, mercy to the worlds. Let us say who. you that we're beginning uh, an every other week cycle now so next week we won't have a Sunday meditation. Mm -hmm. 